Today is May 12th, Friday. It's in the afternoon after work. Um, I pulled the lawnmower out this morning, uh, gave it a little jump here this afternoon, and it started up. So, just need some warmth and some sunlight. I'm just letting it run right now. Um, just to let it just turn out. Um, it's been a couple weeks. My dad finished planting a lot of the stuff earlier uh, last week. So we have 300 new grapevines in and then our apple trees are looking really good. I'll take the video on camera and take it all back. But today I'm gonna mow some of this grass. I'm gonna roll up some of the netting into some balls and then uh, call it good for the day and then um, there's a lot of mowing that I had to get done but it's not too bad um, the one thing I'm just a little annoyed is going to be rolling up the netting which is going to take some time but we got to get it done so we can do the mowing anywho Most of the house all mowed. Looks pretty good. However, issue is <laughs> as I started doing more, the front tire exploded on me. I thought I checked the tire pressure, but it doesn't look like it did. Or I did something stupid. But That'll be something I'll fix tomorrow. Um, still irritated that all the propagation of these didn't turn out as well as just sticking them in water. But you live and learn. 
as I said, the apple trees are doing fairly well. Some of them are sprouting um, more than the others, um, as you can see. They're looking pretty good. Um, we're still debating whether or not to cut some of the top and let it branch out. Um, but no one's really told us exactly what is the right thing to do. But, you know, they seem to be healthy even growing with the, the tube in it. So, overall I'm pretty happy. These are the four to six feet tall ones that we got. Um, still disappointed we only got one honey crisp here in the back corner. But other than that, Gala, Fuji, and Nova Spy apples will we have quite a bit, which is really nice. Um, some things I had to do still is get some mulch to put around the trees. As you can see, some of the weeds are starting to grow in. Just got to take care of that. And then this weekend, I think my dad and I are going to try rolling up some of this netting. My dad wants to keep it. I don't really want to. It's not worth the time and hassle. Um, I'll probably roll up all these into balls and bundles. And then my dad really wants to stay some. We'll take the ones on the other side. But with these, I just want to roll them up time together and then if we can salvage them later we can otherwise my parents will use it for their own garden um back here is where we plant all the the, the new grapevines a lot of them are budding pretty well here's my glove that i left back here but we got four different types um of grapes two red and two white grapes but a good chunk of them are budding which is good even after you know a couple only a week and a half in the ground so i'm pretty happy with it as you can see some of these are budding pretty well um overall i'm pretty happy with it it was roughly 300 vines um we had a few that came in damaged that I'm just sinking them and putting them in water because I just don't want to deal with it right now. Um, and, you know, it worked for propagating, so I figured, you know, try it. But like I said, these are all budding pretty well. So all these rows and then we have three posts worth, right? So, you know, that was a thousand six hundred and like fifty dollars for um three hundred, which you're looking at a little over five dollars per. Um it's the best price you can get when you buy bulk, otherwise you're looking at more, you know, in terms of like fourteen to eighteen dollars per vine. Um next year the plan is either propagate them if they've grown enough or order more and plant more um this already was took a lot of time so and then now you can see back here all the grass is growing and we got to get the netting so we can start mowing um and then there's still a couple rows left that we saw and taken off what we pruned off with the hedge trimmer so um like i said there's a lot of work to be done